Hi everybody, Cynthia here from the Scrappy Bookworm. I um, wanted to stop, but I w I w I'm making a, the cover of my new paper bag album and I needed some leaves because I was doing flowers and I thought oh I forgot some people asked me how I make my some of my leaves for my flowers and how I emboss them so I thought I'd take a break really quick and um, make a little video to show you how I do it while I'm currently working on it um, so what you're gonna need is some cardstock I um, just got this, I forget what this kind was called, I think it was green moss, um, the color of the cardstock, but you're going to need so yourself some cardstock, and then depending on the size leaves you want to make, I, I usually cut out little squares. Um, <clears throat> you can just cut them out with scissors, or you can draw on them, and then cut them out. If you're just starting out, you might want to draw them first until you get the hang of the feel of the scissor and the way you want to work it. Um, or you can just cut them out with your scissors like I do. Only because I've been doing them for so long. I used, when I started out, I did draw them on first. Um, but this is just a way to do them if you don't have a leaf punch and you need to make a leaf. So I usually start with a little square or rectangle, whatever. And I make like a shape of an eyeball from like one corner one end of the cardstock to the next or you can call it a half moon so um, I'll make a half moon shape this way or the eyelid of an eyeball going over and then I'll flip it around start at the point here and make and you know meet over to the other side another eyeball shape okay now that doesn't look like much but till you cut it out and emboss it it's gonna look like a leaf so you could draw them out that way if you want it to and then follow your line and cut them out okay usually the bottom if I want to make a bottom of my leaf I just cut a line straight across the tip there and it makes it easier when I emboss which I'll show you to do later or you could just cut your shapes kind of like looks like an eyeball shape you know the lid in the bottom um, you could do a leaf that way that's the simplest way that it that I kind of know how to show you. I also make more of a, like a, a rounder type leaf, which you'll see here. It's a little more round. So basically, instead of making the eyeball, you just want to make, well, you can make like a more of a rounded eyeball. And then cut off your bottom. Okay, so once you get your leaf shapes, by either cutting them or drawing them first. What I like to do is set out my work towel, which you guys will see, it is very messy. And I'll spread my leaves out. Just do a couple here for the camera. And I will mist them with a little bit of water. You don't want them too wet, you just wanna mist them lightly with water and then I'll blot them off. Okay. And I'll get out my little mat that I like to work with. Now some people have an embossing mat, some people don't. I don't for one. So what I did was I bought these foam mat sheets. I got 32 of these sheets for a dollar. So I couldn't beat that deal. Um, the reason why you want uh, like a foam is because you want it a little bit springy um, when you go to do your embossing. You need something that has some give to it. I've also seen a few videos where 
they actually embossed something on a recycled mouse pad from their computer. So you could do that as well. Okay. So once I have them a little damp, now you don't want them too wet, like I said. You just want to mist them lightly with water, blot them off a little bit. And the reason why you're doing that is you just want to kind of soften up the cardstock so that when you do your embossing, it's a little bit easier. Okay? And then when it dries, it'll dry nice and crisp for you again. So what I do is I run the, the uh, larger end of my stylus around the edges of my leaf. And what this is going to do is get it to kind of curl under a little bit. So I'll do that around my edges first. And you could see, hopefully the camera's picking this up, that it's starting to curl for me can tell on this end it curled down a little bit. That just gives it a little bit of a lift so it's not flat. Then I run a line from the tip of my leaf down the center. Does not have to be perfect guys. Leaves are not perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to draw my veins and I just make scoop shapes from the center scoop up and out toward the top. From the center, scoop up. Center, scoop up. Okay? And I kind of put these sporadic down my leaf. I don't make them the same across. I do them sporadically. And there's your leaf. Okay? It has some embossing to it. Um, I tried to do it on a bigger leaf so the camera would pick that up. Okay, I drew my veins sporadically up the center of my leaf. Now, you could, if you're going to glimmer mist them um, or anything like that, you might want to glimmer mist before you do the embossing because sometimes if they get too wet from the glimmer mist, they flatten back out on you and you don't want that. Um, let me do one more for you. Oh, another thing you could do too, if you want to highlight the embossing, I've also taken like chalk ink, okay, and I've just run it over real lightly just so it picks up the bumps of the embossing, not the other cardstock paper. I don't know if I'm explaining myself right. I'm all like tongue tied today. But basically, it just kind of highlights your embossing that you did. So you could do that with your chalk inks as well if you wanted to. Um, let me do one more for you. You definitely want to let this dry before you glue it to anything. <clears throat> If you want to remember where your bottom is, just cut the tip off of one end. And you could start at the bottom if you want it to. Go around your edges. Curl your edges. Okay. See how it's kind of curled? And that way when it lays on a project, it's not going to lay real flat. It's going to have that that bump up to it. You know, that dimensional look. And that's what you want. You don't want a real flat leaf. Run your stylus in a line down the center of your leaf. Now you're going to want to do your veins. And like I said, start from the center and scoop up toward the tip of your, of your petal or your leaf. So I'm scooping up from the center and now when I do them on this side I'm not going to do them directly across from where I scooped here. I want to do it sporadically. Okay. And then there is your embossed leaf. 
and like I said you can add a little bit of chalkings to them and highlight them you could also um, I've also done a sandpaper technique depending on how I want to do it just run a little bit of sandpaper or your sand block over it and uh, it just highlights the veins in the leaf more okay and let that dry so basically that's it that's how I do them guys and it might look not look you know too great now but when it's under a, a flower in a project it looks really good actually let me show you really quick um, I probably should have been more prepared with my project already out but I had just made this layout okay and as you can see here are my my leaves so they do look really cute when you make paper flowers they do end up really cute in your project so anyway that's how I make my leaves that was my tip for the day so if you guys have any questions just ask I'd be glad to answer them for you and thank you so much for watching take care and have a great day